Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to um, introduce to you guys something that I have been thinking about here um, in the house, of course, uh, just day to day, like just thinking about. So um, I was thinking that I wanted to introduce my purity ministry here on YouTube. I knew that I wanted to do a purity ministry, but I didn't know where I wanted to do it exactly. So I decided that I should probably launch it here on YouTube because this is somewhere that I'm more comfortable and it's also a place where I am most likely to be rather than actually like being out somewhere. So I decided to introduce it to you guys here. I know that a lot of young ladies are on YouTube uh, searching for makeup, searching for all different types of things. So I thought that I can introduce this to you guys here on my channel. I was thinking about having like an age, saying like this age to this age, like an age range. But then I decided, I'm like, well, I'm 26, I'll be 27 this year. And I know that a lot of ladies, not even, you know, like just younger than me, but even older than me are struggling with purity as well. And um, especially women who are uh, Christian, just regular day-to-day -day women. So hopefully I'll be able to introduce it to someone who maybe is not Christian that it'll just interest you guys as well. We all know that purity is definitely something that's important with women. And I have my own personal story as far as purity is concerned. I wasn't always pure. <laughs> so I know a lot of women or young ladies can relate to that. So that's why I feel like this is the story that I need to tell you guys and to be vulnerable with you guys so that um, you all can know that you you aren't the only ones who are going through this. So it's very personal. A lot of it is. But um, the way that I want to introduce it to you guys is to basically break it into parts so that I would know exactly how to bring it to you each time so that it's not like overwhelming. So even for myself, so like, yeah, I wanted to do it in parts for you guys. So basically, for people who may not know what it means to be pure or um, purity, it's freedom from guilt or evil, innocence. That's one of the definitions. And then we have physical chast chastity. Is that? Ooh. physical chastity or virginity um, the conditional quality of being pure freedom from anything that the basis or contaminates pollutes cleanliness um, perfect the synonyms and antonyms innocence blamelessness uh, abstinence from sexual activity that was really what i was getting at so um then i'm gonna go and then just let you guys know what abstinence is restraint from desires especially physical desires so here we go we got our definition so it's um restraint from desires um and then we go back to from sexual activity. So we all know it's, sex is natural, like it's a natural thing, but it's not it's not designed for people who aren't married. So when you having sex with people who you're not called to be with, or people or persons or just a person that you're not called to be with. I know that, especially for Christian women, is it's a thing where we feel like uh, this thing of like loneliness, like we'll never, it's hard. 
Like it's hard and sometimes it's hard to explain, but I know it's not only for Christian women, like all women go through this, but it's difficult. And I don't want to say it's more difficult, but because we know better, it makes it a lot more difficult for us, especially with um, dealing with our flesh, as opposed to someone who isn't a Christian who don't really have a rule or uh, something that keeps them from doing something, if that makes sense. So a Christian woman, we, we follow the Bible, we follow Christ, and we know that abstinence and like virginity and things like that is important. And, you know, someone who may not be Christian, they probably wouldn't care as much. They probably just want to cherish their bodies because of um, that's just the morally correct thing to do. So if I explained that correctly, I hope I did. Purity is important, and I wanted to just express to you guys how important it is. And through my ministry, I was thinking that I wanted to stick to, like, the modesty thing because um, I'm really big on modesty. Modesty is, like, a part of who I am and a part of who I want to be, like, forever. So... Yeah, I wanted. I, I'm probably going to stick with the name Modest in some type of way. I haven't, like, came up with a complete name yet, but I know that it may be something along the lines of Modesty. So, this is just like an introduction video to what I want to bring to you guys. So... Um, I hope that this may be something that you guys are interested in. Like I said, um, I will be coming to you guys, telling you guys like my story, but it's definitely something that I have to think over and introduce it to you guys properly, um, in a way that of course is good for me. And also in a way that you guys will understand where I'm coming from. So hopefully some of you guys can relate. I definitely have an email address and stuff like that, that you guys can contact me if you want to talk about something like furthermore. But I do know that this is something that we all deal with as women. And I know that it stems from the number one thing, filling voids. Like that is the number one factor in the case of like losing your purity or losing your virginity or uh, feeling lonely, it all stems from voids. So that's going to be one of the first things that I address, trying to fill a void. And then I think that's when I'm going to get into like my story. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you like this video. If this is your first time here on my channel, uh, make sure you check out some of my other videos. I do do makeup and things of such, but this is just something different that I wanted to introduce to you guys because this is something that God is really calling me to do. And of course, something that I really need to do. It makes no sense to have a story and not share it with anybody else because it's like, your story can help someone. So this is what I'm here for. And I'm finally stepping into that and being more confident in telling my story. So yeah, what better way than to be so confident that you talk to millions of people on YouTube. So yeah, hopefully this will help some of you. I'll, um, hopefully you'll get an understanding of what I'm saying. Um, some of you guys want to like strive for purity as well so this is the end of this video and like i said make sure you check out the other videos on my channel make sure you check out my channel um <laughs> and now i'll catch you guys in my next video make sure you like this video if it's something that interests you so that i know like this is the right track like this is something that people will be interested in so yeah
I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And until then, stay beautiful and be blessed. Peace.